he would knock his feet off and knock his head and he would be dead on landing. Wall traverse is just kind of when you're gonna be like shuffling along the wall in this like cat hang position. So this was really weird to recreate. As you know, we had to get very creative. Yeah. There it is. Now you're cool. <laughs> now I'm cool. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Sarah Mudalal. I am a parkour athlete training for about six years. I also have a second degree black belt in karate and I've done parkour in a music video and commercials as well. My name is Omar Zaki. I've been doing parkour for 11 years. I've done it in commercials, music videos, TV shows like Ultimate Tag. Yesterday, Sarah and I went to Tempest Freerunning Academy in the Valley to try to recreate some of the moves from Assassin's Creed Unity. So uh, let's see how we did. That's a dash vault. It's a descending dash vault. I would say that is not a common move at all. That is so much you, pressure on your shoulders and your wrists. Usually what people would do, they would turn around, hang, and then drop. No, you could still do like another vault to get down, but you would just put your hands out in front of you and not, not reach all the way back behind you and strain your shoulders unnecessarily. I would do a lash vault where you start in the front and then transition to the back. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, I, mean I did it but it's not my favorite move. It's not also a common move. Like, it, it's doable. Totally. It can be done. We, we got, got serious we about got this really one. really creative. We wanted to recreate exactly how <laughs> we saw it in the game. Yeah, just jump, simple move. This is, you know, snake your body through the opening, kind of use your hands. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and we'll see just how, uh, how accurately we recreated this. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to see this. This is no longer parkour, this is now stunts. <laughs> stunts right there. <laughs> so here's what we recreated. Okay, so you gotta use your imagination a little bit. Oh, so, what's that over there? That's me, but why am I there? And, oh, fence cap! Get out of the way! Oh, <laughs> perfect! I think we nailed it. Jeez. I think it's perfect. Because, you know, if you guys missed it, the guy in the Assassin's Creed actually pushed someone out of the way while going through the fence. Watch clearly. Sarah eagerly uh, volunteered for that. And, and he pushed up. <clears throat> but see, I was more dramatic. That's hot. Oh. <laughs> and that's it. It's just, it's it, just it, this is not, I don't think this is really like a parkour move. It's just like something like someone just jumping over something. I mean, but there's a lot of people that can't do that. They would jump and they would clip their foot and they would break their nose on the ground and they would end up on YouTube going viral or something. So there is some technical like physicality that you need for this. And luckily we have that. Yes. Oh, I think I, I kind of analyzed how he did it. Cause he like, he swam. That's right. Yeah, kind of <laughs> threw his arms randomly. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Practicing it right there. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I tried, in my like, opinion. I, again, like try to copy his personality with that. Yeah, that looks great. So this is a. He's running on the ledge, and it's then a he. Cat. Traverse Cat to precision. wall traverse to precision. Yeah. So yeah, wall traverse is just kind of when you're gonna be like shuffling along the, the wall, wall in this like cat hang position. Which is pretty accurate. Yeah, and then ending with that precision jump at the end. So this was really weird to recreate. As you know, we had to get very creative um, to, to try to- To where to put the blocks. Yeah, and to try to just simulate this. You'll see right now what he's going to do. Yeah. We'll ex then we'll explain the breakdown of what we did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that was, you know, more or less the, the same movements, obviously a little a little different. We had about like four blocks stacked, In one the, behind each other, yeah. for stability. He comes on, tacks on, and then traverses, and then... And then hits that precision at the end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Mr. Mr. Assassin's Creed Man's got a little bit more mythical grip strength, so he can do more ridiculous stuff than I can. But yeah, again, this is, this is more or less the sequence. And the thumbs up at the end. That's how you know I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kong Vault. 
but this one was different. Technically, it's a pop kong because he's yeah. kicking off the front of the wall to get a little, a little extra jump off of it. Still a parkour move. Still a great move. Yeah, and people do it all the time. It's the especially. perfect application of it to get over a wall that's like slightly higher than normal vaulting height, but not so high that it would be a proper wall climb. This is me recreating the Pop Kong vault, but what I did is I actually stepped on the wall. Just like him. And Pop Kong, boom. Yeah, and that's so great because you use your energy so well that like that wall was essentially as tall as you were and you were on top of it like in a heartbeat. Yeah, and then like you just push up, once you bring your hand up and you just push up with it so you can bring your feet up and then continue the run. I'd say you nailed that one. Two, two, two thumbs up from Omar. Thank you so much. <laughs>
So right. you recreated this one, Sarah. I, I did, and a reverse sun. Oh. You did land on people. Though. No way. I, <laughs> I actually just realized everyone was scattering around like ants. Yeah, I just what noticed is what on? is going on. Yeah, oh <laughs> except for those two, they weren't. Yeah, she was just like holding so her arms So the reverse out. descent. I mean, essentially, you come at it as a as a reverse wall, but of course, there's a drop. Face, turn, and then face the same direction as you can run off. Pretty simple. Yeah, this one can be a little weird just because you're doing a full 360 and you can kind of lose your orientation a little bit. Usually what I've learned to do is kind of like look under my arm. Yeah, to spot the ground. Yeah, otherwise like you'd be completely lost. That's essentially it, that's essentially the move. Yeah, no, the vault looked good and that's the move. Mm -hmm. Again, we had to get very creative with where we're doing each recreation and trying to match the heights and the moves themselves and the camera angles, so. I even match, try to match the hood. And the hood, yeah. and the hood. And the hood. All good in the hood. All good in the hood. Oh, this one's all you. Oh yes, the running arm jump. This one was fun to recreate. The only thing is like that jump Pretty is massive. massive. Yeah. To build the momentum from just this, like Run one, two, and from the rail with Huge one jump. leg? How much muscle do you have in that leg, sir? That's what we call video game physics. <laughs> <laughs> That's not real world physics. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Well, and you almost you way. actually made it more difficult because you had to land with your feet on the pillar. When he landed, he could put his feet horizontally next to each other, but you had to get your feet in line on that jump. Yeah, and I actually did take off with one leg on that last one. Yeah, we recreated it. Yeah. It worked. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's not really a vault. So we tried recreating this one, the slide. Essentially, you need to have a lot of grip. Less grip. Less grip, slippery surface to actually slide through this. And he's on like concrete. Like that would hurt his hip so bad unless he's like rolling around with some hip pads on. And my problem with this is that when you do a, like a baseball slide like this, you need to run fast into it. And when you see Sarah do it, she runs into it. He walked and then like slid and got all this speed out of nowhere, but you need to build up that speed beforehand. Yeah, so here I am trying to dive and actually aim my feet through. I think you nailed it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and then the, the camera <laughs> nailed the ground. I barely slipped to be honest. Like I just had to like aim my feet through, but essentially that is the recreation of the move. But I think, I mean, it looks good. Like it looks like you're doing it. Thanks. That's the slide. It's the slide. Oh, that wasn't bad, actually. <laughs> oh no, what was that? Then I hurt my like knee. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it was a rug burn. It was like just red. So speed vaults, um, each character has its own personality. And... Yeah, yeah there it yeah. is. Yeah, that was... So I tucked my knees in. Perfecto mundo. To recreate his personality of the speed. And again, that's yeah. a big block for you. That's much higher than the block that he jumped over. Lachey de Pri. Lachey de Pri. And in the uh, the cool guy pose at the end, he's got got that little swaggy lean on the- he's on got that, that crouch. That's how you know he's cool. He's Not because he does parkour, it's because no. he- Poses. But essentially, the shade of pre, I mean, it, the distance is pretty accurate. You know, you can, it's extension, so you can get the swing. The full extension, yeah. yeah. And then precision, when you precision, of course, like feet first, so you can see your landing, and then. The other thing is, as you know, mm -hmm. gotta check your landing. Make Always. sure that piece of wood is not gonna <laughs> shatter to pieces when you land on it. Or crack in half. Yeah, and then you fall to your doom. And, but he'll still land like this. Yeah, he'll still land like, a like, cool like a guy. cool guy. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Oh, but that was before the cool guy pose. That was pose. before the cool guy pose. And then we're gonna go to the cool guy pose. Yeah! There it is! Now you're cool. <laughs> now I'm cool. <laughs> Not because you do parkour, but because you pose. 
we did pretty well on it. Yeah, we had to get a little creative with the setups. I you know, a lot of moving blocks around. I especially like the one, the, the cat traverse. Those cat the traverse and precision. That was like a lot of building blocks. I liked your running arm jump, the, the cat leap yes. running up the ledges. With that explosive one leg. And I liked doing the leap of faith. That was fun. I've never, uh, that's a fun high fall move to work on. All right, guys, so that was it, trying to recreate Assassin's Creed Unity on Experts Try. We want to give a huge shout out to Tempest Freerunning Academy in the valley for letting us use their facility and their blocks to recreate these amazing moves in the game. We want to thank the YouTuber Freedom or Freedom for providing the gameplay footage that allowed us to react and recreate to. So thank you. And if you enjoy this episode, make sure to check out more like it on the Gameology Facebook and YouTube channel. Oh! <laughs> I was, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. No, she doesn't want us to get it. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna go really slow the next time. And we're gonna like over I have to like slam my forearm at this point.